In this video, let us see how to deploy a Streamlit application to render.com. Here we have your Streamlit application. Let me run this Streamlit application now. To do that, just open your command prompt in the same folder and type Streamlit run and the name of the Python file. When we run this application, here you can see this is our short data analytics web app. Let me open this in the web browser. Here you can see this is a small data analytics dashboard. Let's open this browse files and select the data set. When we select the data set, it will fetch us the different results. Here you can see it gave us the data preview. It will display the top five results and we can order this ascending order or descending order. And we can also perform all this on the different columns. We can also be able to search for a specific element. And below that, we have the data summary for the data set. Here you can see it provides the count, minimum value, maximum value, template percentile. And we can also be able to filter the data set. So we can filter the by column and the and its values. We can select the column and we can select its value to filter. Here you can see when we select the New York value, it will display all the rows that contains the New York. When we change this to Phoenix, it will display all the cities that contains the Phoenix. And below that, we can able to plot the graph based on these columns. So let's select the city and the temperature. And if we click on the generate plot, it will generate the plot for us. Let's change the Y column to something else or let's change the X column to date. Now when we click on the generate plot, here you can see it gives us the temperature on each date. So this is the application that we will deploy in this video. If you want to know how to create this simple data analytics dashboard, I have already made a video that you can check that out. I will provide the link of that video in the description. First, watch that video so that you can know how we can build this application. Here you can see the Python code is just 40 lines. With the help of that 40 lines, we can be able to build this huge application. So this is the power of using the Streamlit. So let us see how to deploy this same application. For this, we are going to use the render.com. Just head over to this render.com. Before we deploy it, we will have to uh, push our code to the GitHub. So just open a new tab and type github.com. Make sure uh, you create your account and login. So here you can see I have already have your account. So I log in using that account. Click on this new to create a new repository. Give your name for your repository. In this case, I'm going to type streamlit intro. This will be just an introduction about the Streamlit and click on create repository. So before we push our files, just go to the file now. Here you can see we have this Python file. We need to create the requirements.txt file. So requirements.txt file. Make sure you type the requirements properly. Just make sure the filing is correct. And first we need the Streamlit. So let me copy and paste that. Then we need the pandas. And finally we need the matplotlib. So these are the three libraries that we have used in the Streamlit application, so we need these three dependencies. So let me copy the matplotlib building and let's paste that now. So this will be B. So this is it. Here you can see. Uh, so these are the libraries that we need. So we have all uh, copy and paste that libraries into the requirements.txt file. So once we have this requirement.txt file, we can upload these two files to the GitHub. So just head over to the GitHub. Since we have only two files, we can directly just drag and drop this file. Or if you want to uh, push these files using the command line. I have already also made that video. You can check the route. So I'm gonna select the upload an existing file. Click on that and choose your files now. So let me go to the project folder now. So this will be under projects and the temp mail. And this is the two files that we have. The main file and the requirements.dx file. So select that. Now you can see that both the file has been uploaded. Click on commit changes. You can see it is processing our files. Now both the files has been uploaded successfully. Here you can see we have the main.py file. Let me open that file. Here you can see it contains our Python code for the Streamlit application. Let's also open up the requirements.txt file to make sure we have these three dependencies that Streamlit, Pandas and the Matplotlib. So this is it. Now we have the code in the GitHub. We can we can be able to deploy this code to the render.com. So just head over to the render.com and click on the dashboard now. Here you can create your account or you can sign in. So if you don't have your account, just click on the sign up and create your account. I have already have your account, so I will click on signing. I will prefer you sign in using the GitHub. So click on GitHub. So once you sign in using the GitHub, the dashboard will look similar to this. If you scroll on, it will display all the deploy service. Here you can say I have already deployed a service here in tenaki.lms. I have this deployed the service two months ago. So if you look at the top right hand side, you can see that we have a press icon. Click on that. And if you click on that, we have these different options, static site, web service, private service, click on the web service. It will open up a page similar to this here. 
if you connect your GitHub on the render Darkham, it will display all your repositories. Here you can see we get the swim with info repository that we have created one minute ago. You can directly uh, select this. If you connect your GitHub, here you can see you can configure your GitHub or you can uh, clone the repository from your public repository. Here you can see this is our public repository. We can just click on the code to copy the repository link and you can paste this here. So let me paste that now. Or you can, if you can configure your GitHub, it will be easy for you. Uh, sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna use the public git repository and copy the repository URL here and click on connect now. Once you click on the connect, it will open up a new page somewhere to this where you will have to give your name for your web service. In this case, the streamlit info is fine for me. And below that, if you want to change that, you can do that by change it now. But I will leave that as default. And the sec next is the language. Since we are using the python, the default one is the python 3. So next is the branch. Make sure that the github is in the main branch. Here you can see this is also the main branch. And below that we have the root directory. So since both the files are in the same location, the leave the root directory as default. And build command is the uh, pip install hyphen r requirements.txt file. Make sure you type the requirements.txt file properly. And the start command will be just type streamlit. So this will be the streamlit application run and the name of the python file. In this case, the name of our python file is the main.py. Here you can see in the github that our python file name is the main.py. So make sure you type your python file. So it is not mandatory to type the main.py. You can name your python file anything you want. But for the simplicity, I just type it main.py. So that's it. We have, I think we have configured everything. Next, we can choose the type now. Choose the free type. And after that, for the free type, we have only Py12 RAM and the 0.1 CPU. So this is enough for us. So just choose the free version. Or if you want to go to the advanced, you can do that. But for the beginners, we can choose the free version. And below that, if you want to add environment variables, you can do that here. Once we have configured everything, click on deploy web service. Here you can see it provides us all the logs now. Just give you a few minutes. It will clone the repository. Here you can see it says building. Now we can see a message that it is cloning from the github url that we have specified so just give you a few minutes now here you can see it's downloading all the libraries that we specified in the requirements.txt file it's downloading the stream with application and us as well as the matplotlib just give a few minutes it will download all the dependencies we need here you can see it's installing all the collector lib packages stream with matplotlib and the pandas so I will pause this video and continue after the installation has been successful. Here you can see now the libraries has been installed successful. Once the service is deployed, you can go to this URL and check that. But you have to wait for a few minutes. Now it is uploading our build. Now the build has been created successful. It is deploying our web service now. Just give you a few more seconds. Now the Streamlit has, application has been run successfully. Here you can see Streamlit run. We got our local url as well as the network url just give you a few minutes now now almost it is finished just open up this url so if you go to the render.com so just give you a few minutes it will say a message like your service is live then we can check the deeper right so just scroll down you can see the directory new code just wait for a few seconds you will get a message your service is live then only the website will be work properly now you, you can see that we get a message your service is live now now you, when we go to the website so just go to the website now here you can see now our website has been worked properly now so let me here you can see we get a message your service is live directed a new port now our stream with application has been deployed successfully here you can see we get a url you can just copy and paste this url into your mobile phone or laptop and see the website now so let me close this website and open it from the beginning. So click on this URL. It will open up the application for you. Here, that's it. We have successfully deployed the same application. So let's select the CSV file now. Let's go to the downloads and click the sample file that we have used for this tutorial. So now the file has been uploaded successfully. Here you can see we get the data preview, data summary. So you can copy this URL. I will provide the link of this URL in the description. You can check this website as well. So let's try to plot the graph now. When you go to the logs, you can see that matplotlib is binding the on cache. This may take a moment. Just give you a few minutes.
Now the graph has been successfully deployed. So let's change the x-axis to display all the values. Here you can see now the graph has been successfully built. So this is it. This is how you deploy a Streamlit application for free using this render.com. Here you can see. Again, if you want to check this website, I will provide the link in the description. And if you want to know how to build this uh, Streamlit dashboard, it's just 40 lines of Python code. I have already made a video on that. Just uh, check the video. I will also provide the link in the description. You can check that out. So this is for this video and I will continue in the next one.